I have never seen so much bling on top of my work desk in my entire life. With all said and done, I have finally finished all the parts assembly. They're put together, they've been painted, they've been slightly detailed. And now it's time for us to put these parts together and see how the Master Grade Sazabi Ka looks like. Let's begin. First up, the waste unit. Then the uh, side skirts. Since we already assembled the head, the next thing I'm going to do is connect the arms. Here is the right arm. Followed by the left. And then the backpack. There we go. And then we put this together. I'm assuming I have to adjust the camera so you guys can see how massive and how bright this kit looks. <laughs> yeah. I'm putting on the weapons later, but there it is. The Master Grade 1-100 scale Sazabika. Gold plated is now complete. Check all this bling. I should get that LED out and um, place it on this kit to see how it looks. Look at that. Yeah, I'm a little pissed off at that, but we'll fix that. It's fixable. A lot of things have been is fixable. A lot of things have, can be adjusted. Yeah, look at that. You and the feet came out pretty good. I have to admit, sometimes I surprise myself. 
but I have to say this is one badass big master grade kit and I have to say that I am pretty much the first person on YouTube to actually gold plate Sazabi. I have checked all over the place and I haven't seen anyone come close. May not be as the best as I could do, but this is close enough. I have to pat myself on the back. Alright, so now the big thing is the placement of the weapons. And, um, that's the tricky thing. Because now I gotta pop this thing out. Let's see if this thing will hold. So I put this little finger in there. And we grip that. And we grip this. And then hold it in like that. There we go. So yeah, it holds up the uh, beam rifle pretty well. Nice. Now for this, I have to, I guess I gotta flip this around like that. Oh no, flip this like that. And then hold that like this. And if I want to, you know what, I've never bothered to pull out the uh, beam effect parts from the Stein and the, um, Sina uh, um, the yeah, the Sinanju, which had that cool beam effects, and I, I thought it was, a, it was a cool beam effect for that ki for those kits, but this one I kind of like, and I want to put it on this, so I hopefully have enough battery on my uh, camcorder to show this off. So one will go here. Then the other one will go here. There's the other part that will make this one a little bit bigger, you know, uh, either the small axe or the large axe, but oh, I'm gonna use this either way. And then using this, see if I can grab it without actually worrying about it falling apart. I know there's a connection there which I can grab, but I'm being lazy as you can see. Alright, there you go. Oh. It's so heavy that the hand came off. Right. Get your ass in there. Hey, great. The whole thing came off. <laughs> ah. There we go. <sighs> I knew it was too easy, but... I'll have to figure out the placement of the joints and everything so I can make sure that this thing doesn't fall off. There we go. We'll leave the hand uh, alone for now, but th that's the idea, of course, for this. But at least the beam rifle is holding into place. And, um, so, yeah, whoops. So, yeah, so that's how it looks, of course, if I put it there, but we'll leave that alone. Of course, I could probably put the other beam rifle for the, I mean, b uh, beam saber and hold it there for that, but other than that, this came out pretty good. This is an ambitious work that took a long time to make. Long-ass videos, long-ass pieces of work, trial and error, a lot of errors, of course, some errors, of course, now that we just saw with the funnels, a little bit of detail, which I forgot to do, things that I missed and things I overlooked. All in all, what you're looking at here is a 90% complete kit. And 
and it's not over. Because yes, I have the decals. Yes, I have more paint. Yes, I am going to cover everything that I missed, redo it, retouch it up. It's not, this is not how it's gonna be. Because I had to put all these decals anyway. And then I will gloss this thing up so shiny it's gonna reflect everyone's, everyone who sees this. But now I have to stop. I have to stop and take a breather. I really do. Stay tuned for my next video as I discuss uh, what I'm gonna do next. But as of this moment, I, ha I am stopping the assembly of, you know, the Master Grade Sazabi Ka is now officially done. I'd like to thank my friends at Gundam Planet who um, held, held on to this kit for me back in December. And I'm having this will be my first entry for Comic Con for the Gunpla Builders World Cup coming up in October, in October, which I've purchased my tickets. So thank you for all for watching, and stay for, stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. You guys all take care.